As an educator, you know how important activities are to your lessons. You also know that the most effective activities are ones that are fun and engaging, because when your students are interested, they are more focused, and this ultimately enhances their learning. So, you want activities that are fun and engaging, activities that can include any number of students, and that you can use both in your classroom and in remote learning. That's a tall order to fill, but Factile delivers. Factile is an educational Jeopardy-style game that easily integrates into your course curriculum regardless of the subject or number of students you're working with. You can moderate games in class, in a remote learning setting, or allow students to use your games for independent study. A range of customization options and play modes gives you the flexibility and ease to use Factile in the way that best suits your lesson and your students. And best of all, the unique buzzer mode lets students buzz in and brings the games to life. Using Factile. Are you looking for a way to preview new material, review content at the end of a chapter, or test your students' progress? Factile can help you do it all. Integrate Factile into any stage of your lesson. Create a set of questions and answers once and use them in six different ways. As a standard Jeopardy style game, as a multiple choice activity, in quiz bowl format, like a memory match game, as flashcards, in an independent study Jeopardy style game with analytics, and even create quizzes from your questions for print. Watch your students' attention be captured instantly as they work in teams or on their own to play your games. Educators are now teaching online through platforms like Zoom, driving a new approach to activities. Factile integrates seamlessly with conferencing platforms like Zoom, WebEx, Microsoft Teams, and Google. When you use Factile, you have the features to run a game successfully no matter where you are or how many people are playing. 40 players? Not a problem. One player? Also not a problem. Playing a game. You can see the benefits of using Factile in your teaching, but how exactly do you play a Factile game with your students? The rules of the game are simple. Students will provide answers to the questions on the game board, while you as the moderator score the questions and determine which team can provide their answer first. Start by launching a game from the My Games page. If you're playing in person, Display or project your screen for students to see. On this screen here, select Play Now and choose the number of teams playing. Teams can consist of as many or as few players as you wish. After you or your teams choose their mascots from a huge library of mascot options, press Start Game to display your Factile board. You or your students will choose a tile from the board and the game begins. The question will display for all to see and teams need to raise their hand to answer a question. The first team to raise their hand can provide their answer and you will score the questions using the options here on the team podium. If a team provides an incorrect answer, the next team who elected to answer the question will get the chance to provide their answer. After you've scored the question, the answer will be displayed, the game advances, and you can continue the game. Final Factile. A great activity should have a great end. Once all the board tiles have been opened, the game automatically enters Final Factile. This is the final question of the game, and it's a chance for students to wager their points for the big win. For the final question, all teams will provide an answer. Once you've scored the question for all of the teams, the game will display the answer, and then it will display the winner. Factile and remote learning. You can still use Factile with ease if you're teaching remotely. Launch your game from the My Games page and share your screen. Go through the same sequence to open your game. 
Students will see your board from whichever remote location, like home, they're at. Making use of Zoom's groups, raise hand, and message function, students can still interact with each other and the moderator. Even through a computer, they can play almost as if they were in class together. Interaction is even easier with buzzer mode. Buzzer mode is available with our paid subscriptions, and you can use it with any of our play modes. Students will be able to see the Factile board from any mobile device and buzz in to answer questions directly on our platform. Buzzer mode can be used both in person or remotely. When you launch your game for play, you'll be asked if you want to play in buzzer mode. Select yes and direct your players to playfactile.com join. Your students will use this pin to log into their game. They'll choose a mascot, and then their screen will look like this. Factile can support up to 50 teams in one game session, and each team can have any number of team members, so you can accommodate your entire class and more. Monitor how many teams have connected from this display here. Once everyone is logged into the game, press Begin Game and you're ready to play. Playing in buzzer mode is similar to playing a standard game, except that players will buzz in to answer questions using a mobile device of their choice. All they need is an internet connection. Your screen will display the Factile board, and the player screen will have a buzzer in the center and their mascot at the bottom of the screen. You can even set your game to allow players to type their answers in from their devices. The student screen will have a text field for them to input their answers, and then they submit whatever they wrote. Multi-member teams. Your pro subscription also comes with a multi-member team function, which allows your players to join one team from different devices and different locations. Players elect a team captain, and when players enter your game pin, they sign in as either the captain or as a team member. When multi-team members is active, anyone on the team can buzz in for their specific team to answer a question. The captain screen will look like this, and the other member screen will look like this. Other play modes are also available with a pro subscription, including choice mode, classic memory, flashcards, interactive choice, and quiz bowl. Choice mode lets your students play with multiple choice options. In buzzer mode, the students can click on the option to register their answer, making this a faster paced game. While you're playing in choice mode, the tiles you've opened will show multiple answer options and you'll score the question as normal. Memory mode is the mode for you if you're looking for a matching activity. Just like any matching game, you'll have columns with hidden content and students will turn over the tiles to try and find a match. After you launch your game for play, you'll find this option at the bottom of this screen here. Select Memory to start your game as a matching activity. Here, you'll choose the number of categories you want active. The more categories, the harder the game is. Quiz Bowl is our newest addition. It brings back the classic College Quiz Bowl format with teams competing for toss-up questions. The team that buzzes in first and answers the toss-up question correctly then can attempt three in-depth follow-up bonus questions. This is a great format for reviewing topics in more depth. Independent study. We understand that no matter how much you do in class, students must study on their own to truly master the material. That's why we've created flashcard and interactive choice mode that your students can use for their independent study. Share your game in flashcard mode using the share function in Factile. When students open your link, they will see your game already in flashcard format. Students can click on the front of the flashcard to reveal the answers and move through the deck using the arrows here at the bottom. If your students are having difficulty with a flashcard or think it contains vital information, they can star the card 
by clicking on the star here in the corner of the card. If they want to see all of their starred cards, they can click on this option here. Take reviews one step further and use interactive choice mode. This play mode is a multiple choice Jeopardy style game for independent study. Students will play on their own and you can get analytics on which questions students did well on or which ones need more review. This is great for reviewing material before a quiz or an exam, especially if you're using our quiz creator function to turn your games into printable quiz questions. Individual players can play in two scenario types, a time scenario to limit when they can access your game and continuous play so players can access it anytime. To set up a game in interactive choice mode, launch your game for play like usual and on the opening page, select Interactive Choice. You can control your game settings from this box here by checking the boxes of the options you want to use. When you're ready, press Start Game and share your link with your players. Your dashboard will display your games on the right side of the screen. In this dashboard, you can monitor your player's progress through analytics, which will give you data on your questions. To monitor your player's progress, use the leaderboard option and you'll see who's playing and how they're doing. You can also export the data as a CSV file if you want to save it. Use the Interactive Choice Dashboard button at the top of your My Games page to access your dashboard at any time. If you want to stop a game so it isn't available in this play mode anymore, or delete a session of interactive choice mode that you don't plan to use, you can do these actions from your dashboard using these options here. To return to the My Games page, just click on the Factile logo. How to create a game. Activities shouldn't be complicated to set up, so we've made it easy for you to create games. When you log into Factile, you'll see your My Games page. To create a new game, select New Game from the top of the page. You'll then be prompted to create a unique URL for your game. This is so it can be identified, and later you can share the link with others to play. If you experience difficulty choosing a URL that's available, or you aren't sure what to choose, then Autogen will create your URL for you. You'll then be directed to your Factile board. If you didn't already give your game a title, you can type it into this box here and name your categories by clicking in these text fields. You can use up to six categories in a game. We provide you two ways to enter questions and answers into your Factile board. Manually activate tiles by selecting a tile and write your question in this field here and your answer in this field down here. When you use one of our pro subscription options, you can enhance your text using our advanced editor displayed above our question and answer field. You'll find tools that allow you to control the font, text formatting, and color. Use our spell checker to make sure your text is free of any errors. Add images and videos as well to questions and answers so that you can contextualize content, appeal to visual learners, or expand the format of your questions. You'll find these options below your text field, and you can add images or videos as well to questions and answers so that you can contextualize content, appeal to visual learners, or expand the format of your questions. Below the text field, you'll find the option to add an image, video, or sound. Select the option you want. For example, let's say you want to add an image. You'll click on the image icon, upload the photo from your computer, and it'll be displayed here. If you want to use a video from YouTube or another video platform, click on the upload video icon here and copy and paste a link into this text field. And for anyone teaching a math or science-based course, we understand displaying equations can be problematic.
Because of this, we've created an equation editor. You'll find it here next to the Add Image and Video options. Instead of dealing with typing your equation into the question text field, you'll write it here. Use LaTeX syntax in this box, and you'll see a preview of your equation on this side. Use this to save yourself time when inputting equations and ensure that they're formatted correctly. After you've put in your questions and answers, make sure to press save when you're done. Once you've successfully added content to a tile, the point value on your board will turn yellow. The second way to add content to your fact tile board is to use this upload form and upload either a CSV or an Excel file from your computer. Factile also features numerous public games created by other users, which you can find using the search bar function or this list on the My Games page. Copy any game you like, edit it to suit your needs, and save it to your own collection of games. Customization options. Everyone appreciates a personal touch. With a pro subscription, you can add custom colors and mascots. Make your fact tile look the way you want it to. Being able to customize the mascots also allows you to upload your class or school's mascot or use mascots that your students identify with. If you plan to use fact tile often with the same group of students, you can edit the mascot names to reflect who your players are. Access the customization options from the Customize page or from the first page you see after you launch your game for play. From the Customize page, you can customize your sound, timer, gameplay settings, game appearance, and even your teams from this page. Platforms for sharing factile games and flashcards. Sharing is caring, which is why our built-in functions enable you to share your games or flashcards directly through Google Classroom and Remind. And if you aren't using those platforms, you can also share your game with a direct link. Account types. We offer three account subscriptions to fit your budget and your needs. Choose from our free version that gives you access to our basic features, the homeschool subscription for $5 a month, or the business subscription for $9.50 a month. Pay monthly or annually. Regardless of which paid account you choose, there are no long-term contracts and you can cancel at any time. Support. There's a learning curve that comes with trying new things, especially technology. We want you to succeed, so we offer you support through our online user guide and through email. Factile is a versatile, fun, and engaging learning tool that can increase student engagement, both in class and for remote learning. With our three account types, choose the subscription that fits your learning and budget needs. Factile is an easy and interactive way for students to learn and practice classroom content week after week, both as an in-class and independent learning activity. In addition to customizing content, you can also personalize your games with custom mascots, colors, and names. And you can use Factile no matter the size of your group. Sign up today at www.playfactile.com for free.